filming tool. Short form content. You can just absorb language so much faster without even thinking about it. to go grab lunch. We're in Yoido today, actually to see an art exhibit, but we gotta eat first. Yeah, whenever I style my hair, it's, it gets so windy. Ate at it's 11:45 and we're done. The line is crazy. Oh, it's windy. sitting here resting our old backs. We're waiting for the crowds to die down a little bit to go into like grab a coffee or something because it's like the after lunch rush. Mm -hmm. Anyway, when we're out and about, we use this filming tool that has been a game changer for us mm -hmm. when we're like filming vlogs. We've mentioned them before and Moft is sponsoring our video. Moft is basically this company who makes tech accessories for people on the go who want to work or create and they're really light and versatile and they're origami inspired. We use a couple products by them but by far our favorite is their invisible tripod stand. This is mech safe. You can yeah. easily just attach it on your phone like this and open up like this Yeah, and that's it. There's three different modes. We usually use the theater mode, but sometimes you like to use the browsing mode like this when you're like reading the news or replying to an email or something like that. Yep. So I think the main reason we love this little tripod so much is because it's discreet. When you're out in public and you're trying to get these shots, when you're setting up this huge tripod, you feel really awkward. This little thing can squeeze anywhere and no one even notices. And it's also made out of Moth's Movis vegan leather, which is really tough and resistant to stains and scratches and the magnetic hold is very strong. If you want to take a shot right away, it's quick to open up. Yeah. It doesn't really take much time. We have a link in the description box down below if you guys are interested in Moft's products. Again, they're essentials for us when we're out. Yeah. You can just like fit it in a pocket. Anyway, should we get dessert, coffee? No, actually I want ice cream, but... All right, so we came here for this exhibit, right? But whenever we come to IFC Mall, like, we always forget how awesome of a mall it is. I think out of all the malls I've been to in Korea, this is my favorite because they have so many brands that we like and it's not just like luxury brands that are so unattainable, right? And Hugo insisted he get hand cream. <laughs> this is his idea, not mine. And we're like all caught up in all the stuff there is to do around here. But we're going to go to the exhibit first, like our original plan. Then we're gonna come out, maybe like grab like a coffee and like browse this area a bit. But yeah, let's focus and go to the exhibit. Doesn't this guy look like Keanu Reeves a little bit?
Very creative. Kyuho's not really like the most artsy guy, but he's been a great sport when I dragged him to like other art exhibits and stuff. But this one I was really excited about because Kyuho really loves miniatures. So when I saw this just opened like last weekend, I was like, this is it. And so far, it is so much fun. Look at this one, this contact lens umbrella. That was interesting and very funny. There's such creative works that I was laughing at a lot of them just by how out there they were, especially with like the food ones. We're going to probably go grab a beverage because I'm a little bit thirsty. And um, yeah, if you're into miniatures or think they're even the least bit interesting, definitely recommend this exhibit. It's a lot of fun. Hanok that you want to stay or buy in the future, no? Oh my god, this is the only one I could afford, I think. <laughs> Alright, we are going to head to the subway, but we're a little bit lost. The sign says this way, subway, so I guess you just have to follow. He was banished to the floor. It's a good pet owner. This is what I'm supposed to do. 
So recently we filmed and posted on like TikTok, Instagram, and even like YouTube Shorts, short form content, Korean news articles that we find interesting, and we translated them and also the comment section because you guys cannot really access to comment section to hear all this like what other Koreans think mm. about the topic. So, yeah. so we thought oh, maybe it'd be interesting because it's our morning routine, right? Yeah. We kind of both wake up and like read the news and we'll each kind of find usually a, a different article or two and like, you know, oh, listen to this. Mm -hmm. And then like you'll read the Korean one and then I'll be like, like, what are the people saying in the comments? We're like dipping our toes into the short form content. So yeah, please guys, if you're interested in that kind of stuff, follow us on TikTok. It is really weird for us because like we've been doing long form content for mm -hmm. such a long time. And long form content is like obviously our true love. But sometimes it's, I don't know, that kind of thing is more suited for like a short form thing and we're interested in it. So yeah. that's how we want to branch out into like that. We're kind of like trying different styles of... Mm. So it rained today, so we have to drink makgeolli. That's the rule. Oh, oh, it's our favorite. See, you're not interested, right? We have to let him smell it so he can see like, oh yeah, I'm not interested in that. And then he'll leave us alone. <laughs> so our video last week, the Q&A, there's so many good questions and obviously it's impossible for us to answer them all and put it in the video. But there was this one that we wanted to answer, but we didn't have enough time. Mm -hmm. So we thought we kind of like, have a mini chat about that now. 예전에 질문한 적이 있긴 하지만 언어 사용에 대한 부분이요. 규님은 어릴 때 러시아랑 카자흐스탄에서 잠깐 사셨던 걸로 알고 있는데 지금도 러시아에 능통하다는 게 너무 신기하고 부럽기도 해요. 어떻게 러시아어를 까먹지 않고 구사하실 수 있는지 궁금합니다. 세라님은 규님과 영어로만 소통하시는데 한국어 회화 공부는 어떤 방식으로 하시는지 궁금해요. 영상에서는 안 보이지만 시댁 가족분들과 대화하실 때 거의 다 이해하시는 것 같더라고요. I was six years old when I was in Kazakhstan and in Russia. Mm. I stayed there two years in Kazakhstan, two years in uh, Moscow. Because I was so young, my brain was like a sponge. I yeah. absorbed everything. However, I haven't been using it for a long time. So obviously I did forget a lot. I do understand when I watch movies and stuff, not all these like very difficult words. However, I can understand like daily conversation kind of stuff. You yeah, you majored I, in yeah. Russian university too, yes. so that... I majored Russian and business, but um, I married Canadian, so... I'm not using any of the Russian language. I think language is something that you have to constantly practice. Yeah. I kept the pronunciation, but I forgot a lot. So mm. I can't really say that I am fluent in Russian. And Sarah, yes, we do speak each other in English. Mm. However, you do understand Korean most of it. If it's not something really like complicated or something. Exactly. Yeah. Then I can definitely follow. Mm -hmm. But I envy you though, because our language learning was very different. Like I started learning Korean when I was like 25. Mm. You started learning Russian when you were five, six, seven, like that kind of age. So when you're really young, you can just absorb language so much faster without even thinking about it. And your pronunciation is like so much better. I think my Korean speaking sucks, but my comprehension is pretty good. Yeah, yeah. And I made sure that before I came to Korea, hey, <laughs> get out of there. Here, is this what you want? Before I came to Korea, actually, I, I taught myself how to read and write Hangul because at least I wanted to be able to read signs and like menus and stuff like that to be able to do like basic stuff. Other than that, it's just mostly exposure. I 
bought myself some like grammar textbooks. I'm in no way like an advanced level at all. I didn't come here as a student. I came here like to work as someone who already had like a student loan they had to pay off. So I didn't have the luxury of like being able to go to university again. I think watching shows. Yeah, that's movies, a big one. That's how I also yeah. learn language. Make your whole environment with that language. Mm -hmm. Or the best they say is uh, date someone who, from that native uh, language speaker and even better, marry one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're probably just going to enjoy the rest of our makgeolli and snacks. Maybe watch a little something. Thanks for watching and we'll see you very soon. Bye-bye. Okay.